JMR from Air Super Radio. I'm here at MAGFest with Bit Brigade's members Jay Spartet and uh, McCarthy. First off, uh, tell us about your band Bit Brigade and what you guys do. Well, um, Noah is a world class gamer and he plays a video game on stage and then there's a rock band behind Noah playing the music in the game in real time as he plays through the game. And I also think people don't really appreciate that um, you know, a lot of people can play a game. You sit in your room, play a game. But Noah plays games in front of among enormous crowds, hundreds of people, and the, 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 the tension there is, 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 is something you can't really simulate. You can never understand what that feels like. So Noah, to me, is truly one of the best gamers in the world because he can play uh, these intense games under the stress of, of performing in front of hundreds or maybe even as last night thousands of people. What games have you done in the past? When we started off doing Contra, that was the original game that we did. Then Mega Man 2 was the second one. Uh, then we did Ninja Gaiden. Then we did Castlevania 3, which we don't do anymore because it's so ridiculous it's and so hard. It's too hard. And then now we do uh, Castlevania 1. I think yeah. for the future we're flirting with Zelda. Yeah. We're going to try to maybe... I think we that, talked about Zelda 1, bringing yeah. in songs from Zelda 2 and Link to the Past. Right. We've also talked about doing kind of like a, a slow run of Super Mario Brothers 2, where also we could bring in songs from Mario 1 and 3, and just kind of like take our time with it, because, yeah. I mean, yeah. you can beat that one really fast, yeah. well, I mean, but it would be a lot more fun to go I mean, through like a lot of the world. Exactly. If you were We're to play really Mario sure. 1, I mean, the average player could probably finish that in 10 to 15, 20 yeah. minutes. Oh, yeah. so it would be cool to just take... 30, 40 minutes to do it, I, yeah. I think. I think yeah, that would be a good cool idea. Show off the game a little bit more yeah. and give the band an opportunity to get to the music. We're not totally sure what the future holds for Mimic A, but yeah, I mean, something new. Things are yeah. in the works. We're, we're always talking about what ideas are next. He's always trying to find a game that's fun to watch, and the soundtrack is great, and it's short and enough. It has a, and yeah, it's the right amount of time. Or, not, or long enough. Yeah. yeah, Around 40 minutes or so is perfect, really. Yeah. You guys have been here since MAGFest 9. Uh, right. What keeps bringing so you guys back? One. What keeps bringing us back? Yes. Well, MAGFest is the only place in the entire world, well, in North America anyway, where we can show up, do our thing, and everyone in the crowd will understand it. Everyone will get it. The crowd it. sings along. They sing along. To instrumental music. I, to the melodies, they know, the, they know the music. They're, they are cheering uproariously. And we play shows with regular rock bands all the time. It's something we do frequently. And it's always pretty fun, but the people in the crowd don't yeah, know the music. Magnus is special. Magnus is special Magnus. because it's thousands of people that have the same sickness we do for yes. video game music. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm definitely right there with you. It's incredible. Yeah. I, I don't know, you uh, have a painting project that you're working on. You do oh, yeah. some artwork here. I was wondering if you tell me a little bit about that and your inspiration behind it. Um, I mean, just love of video games. I feel like it, uh, it's almost, it's very comparable to the band. I feel like what we're doing is we're kind of like, when I played Con Contra or Castlevania, like this is what I heard. Like yeah, this was, man. this is the experience that I had. Yeah. You know, Bit Brigade is the way I heard Mega Man music, the way I heard Contra music in my head as a kid. Yeah. That's why it's so special to all of us. Yeah. And so I try to do the same thing with my paintings. It's like I try to be very accurate with everything. It's not like, I mean, there's a lot of guys that are doing the pixel paintings, which are really cool. Uh, it's uh, really, really, cool. really awesome. But I try to do what I saw when I was a kid. And uh, like, I hear people talking about it, and they do paintings like, I play Mario, and there's like crazy mushrooms, and like weird right. world, things yeah. like that. I didn't More see that. More interpretive artwork. I saw the game, but I saw I felt like I saw what the artist was actually creating and really like intricate and, and beautiful because I mean the, I just sold a Metroid painting that mm, is so was the part where you learn how to wall jump. Yeah, from I, the I saw that earlier. Yeah, and I don't know. I just got so excited when I thought about that scene. And it's just like this is because that that scene is just so amazing, and I just love like showing that experience. Like, this is how it felt to me when I, I don't know, that's, that's what I'm trying to convey in the paintings that I do. We were actually speaking with the composer for Castlevania last, uh, earlier today, uh, Noe Yamashita. Uh, we got word that she was in the audience for your performance, yeah. and she enjoyed it. She made the comment that she doesn't think that she could play the game as well as you do. <laughs> so yeah, James Banana that's herself crazy. has given you James guys props. James Banana herself, wow. Yeah, I, I met her earlier today. I, I went to the autograph uh, panel 
And it was one of the most gratifying experiences of my life because she seemed just as happy to meet me as I was to meet her. Yeah. It was really gratifying for her to, to see her, her music um, explored in that way, in the way that we do it, you know? Yeah. I was giddy when I heard that she was there at the, at the yeah. show, just yeah. like, oh wow, this is amazing. The, the pressure's on right now, you have to deliver an amazing performance. Yeah, and it put a lot of pressure. Nick the newbie, Nick the newbie, you stupid idiot. He came up to me like eight seconds before we started playing and he was like, Kenilia Mashta's here, she's in the crowd. I was like, now I'm nervous. I was, wasn't nervous, but that, yeah. it, that was the first time yeah. in like two years that I've been nervous. Like I, I, I mean, I perform a lot, and I like performing. I don't usually get nervous, but to know that she was there in the crowd watching, I felt like I had a, a, it was really some, cool. yeah, I, I felt like I had an obligation to really deliver, and I, it was great. It was great, but it made me nervous. Look forward to seeing you guys in the future. Uh, sure. I'm guar pretty well guaranteed you guys are going to be back at Future MAGFest. Pleasure. Same. Yeah. Pleasure's Always. mine. <laughs>